Hey, hello everybody. So, last one this week. I decided that I am going to paint um, a hot air balloon. Terry Price has been asking me to do a hot air balloon. So I'm going to do a little twist on it and I'm going to be doing the world as a hot air balloon. So you need to get something round. I've got this smoke detector thing that was kicking around here. So hope we don't have a fire. And I'm going to put that on my canvas and go around it. And then I'm going to make the world. So you're going to need today uh, something to make green, whether you've got green already or not. So blue, green, white, uh, red, yellow, black. Maybe I'm going to give it a sort of a sunset kind of a thing and then have that flowing up. Or you can just do it on the gray sky or whatever color sky you want to have. It's up to you. But I'm doing sort of a sunset so or a sunrise. should be... Uh, light out while you're air balloning. So let's get everything all straightened up. Have your blow dryer ready because we want to dry the background. I'm going to go with, um, okay, let's get that wet. My brush is a little stiff. Um, white and yellow up in here. Just putting white and yellow together because sometimes yellow doesn't really show very well. So I'll start there. And come down as far as you want to go down because this is going to be there's going to be no ground it's going to be all um what do you call it it's going to be all in the air so i'm going to take a little bit of red now i'm going to put it into the yellow to make some orange don't use up all of your yellow because um you're going to need some to make green, unless you've already got green. But my canvas is super, super wet. So I just can, you can throw some red just up in here. It doesn't matter because wherever it picks up a little bit of orange, we're going to pretend that's a cloud. So I get farther to the bottom, I'm going to be straight red. Smooge these all together in a minute. Up. I like that orange color there. This is really super wet. I'm going to dry it a bit. So I decided to make it like the world because our world's up in the air, don't you think, right now? So let's get it up in the air. A little bit of yellow and orange. So I'll throw just a big blob of yellow on there. Go back and forth. Go down into that. It's going to be a very colorful painting. I don't know what it's going to look like with this background. The colors don't really go together. but. You can watch to the end and you tell me whether you want to do the sunrise one or whether you want to just do blue skies. I just figured because um, <laughs> there was blue in my hot air balloon because I'm doing the world. Just adding straight yellow going up. Um, because I'm doing blue in the world part of this, like making it look like the globe. Um, I figured there'd be enough blue there. Back and forth. Go right into the red. Don't even worry about it. Bring that red back up. Just keep going back and forth. You can make it messier later. I'm going to take off all the red in my brush right now for this last part and then just go in with some straight yellow on top of the yellow. This is getting really vibrant because it's like the second coat. I dried it a bit so now it's really deep. More straight yellow. And then I'm just going back and forth over it. You can have this messy, you can have it straight, it doesn't matter. It's it looks pretty cool in real life. It's got a nice, nice gradation to it. Orange up. Now, 
If you wanted to, you could throw some clouds in there. I don't know what that's going to look like. Um, but I do want to have some sort of a sunshine. So I'm going with some straight white. Where would the sun be? Let's just say it's not going to be dead center because the balloon's going to be there. Let's say it's up in this corner. Just doing a circle. It's going to even go off the page. So sort of off to the side. So does that make any sense at all? So I'm just going to start taking some of the white that's left on my brush. I just go back and forth through here. And it's even going through the sun. Can you see me going through the sun here a little bit? Flip my brush over. It's got some white there. Just getting rid of my white wherever I have it. Get it off my brush. So it's an illusion of a sun. It's not completely a circle and I've gone through with some of my brush messed it up even if you wanted to take a little bit of red look at see here's where you see where I did that going with my brush in horizontally take some red so you can kind of see what I did that's what I was doing with the yellow getting all that red off my brush because that's too much and then go over it with yellow this you did not have to do. But right now it just kind of looks like a weird cloud. Plus I'm going to cover that up with my planet, so I don't care. Do not really like it? Take some more white. Bring some of that white out there. That you don't have to do, but you know me, I'm messy and I'll try anything. So if you don't like it, don't do it. Dry your canvas. Now, get your tool, whatever it is you're using, and your round brush. You can use chalk if you want, it doesn't matter. If it's easier, I'm doing it this way so you guys can see, but you can lay it down flat and do it on that way and then trace around so it's easier. But for me, I have to do it this way so you guys can see. I don't even know if that's going to be big enough. It's going to have to be big enough. That's where it is. I want it right in the center. I'm going to put it down just a little bit using blue. I'm going to go around it with just straight blue. So roll your brush in the blue. Don't have a whole bunch on there. Keep it pointy. And then get it to the edge and go around. I don't even know if I'm touching the canvas right now. I don't think I am. I'm not. Oh, it was there. Just as close to a circle as you can get, okay guys? You can uh, adjust a little bit with paint, but at least I've got... <gasps> My easel's falling off, guys. It's falling off the table. Uh, I'm going to do this in a hurry. Okay, that's close, and I don't lose it. There we go. Uh, still falling off. It's still falling off. It's still falling off. Oh, stay, stay, stay. Okay, there we go. So I've got a circle. Now, because um, 
I've got so much orange and stuff underneath there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, all the paint off my big brush as much as I can. And I'm going to paint that inside here white just so that I'm not trying to cover up that yellow over and over and over with multiple steps, multiple layers to cover it up. This just gives it a nice opaque background, hides all that orange. And see right now I'm, I'm at the side, so this does not look round to me at all. It looks oval, but to you guys it looks round. doesn't have to be super thick, it just has to cover smoothly so there's not any great big um, lumps in here. And then I'm going to dry that again. I don't know if I put something on my table so that, that doesn't slide and I like nail it in. Okay, dry that up. So um, it doesn't matter so much if we paint this blue now and then go for the green because the blue is part of the green. So when we paint green, it's not going to be a drastic change in color. So taking that big brush again, doesn't matter if you still have some white on it. Um, take a little bit of uh, white and blue, just a tiny bit of blue, tiny, tiny bit of blue. And just to the side make a mess of color. Um, don't really necessarily need it to be sky blue, but it's good to have a little blended mix of color because if we put this on marbly, then our ocean's gonna look, um, we're gonna mess it up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just get that light blue color on there. We can throw a little yellow in it and make it teal colored, so there's different kinds of oceans and things, but. Planet is mostly water, so we're going to paint out the water first. And then we're going to make it messy. So that it looks like the water's moving around on the planet, not just necessarily sitting there one solid color. Because where's the fun in that? I like my mess. So my, I ran out of paint, so it's going to get a little darker now. Um, in spots, so it doesn't matter. But see what I mean? It's all blue. It's a little bit messy. On this edge here, take your another brush, uh, angle brush, little round brush, doesn't matter. Um, we're going to take some straight oil. And on this side, we're going to go around this edge here from the top all the way around the edge it's a little narrower here so it's a little bit um, thicker blue so narrow here a little thicker right here dark blue and then back to narrow back to narrow right here where it meets halfway concave shape. Now let's just muck around. All right, guys, um, take your brush, grab some white and just sort of throw some white in here, wherever, mess it around because the oceans are going to be all messy. So we don't want to be too terribly neat about it. 
Maybe you can take some dark blue, throw a few dark blue patches in here. But now you can see that your whole planet is just messy. Looks like there's all kinds of waves and junk going on. Messy planet. Just be a, just be a messy planet. So with that brush, go to your yellow, go to your blue. You're going to be making some green. Don't want it to be limey green, make it a blue green. So it's a dark green now. I got a nice dark green color. I'm going to take some white because I do want it to be lighten up. Let's just lighten up part of that so that we have some dark green bits later. So I got some light bits. Now let's try, <laughs> let's try to um, draw the planet. Uh, Africa, just kind of comes down like that, curves in, and then it comes to a point there, comes around this way, okay, that shape, maybe a little bit darker green, I don't know, can you guys see it? Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, maybe a little higher up here. All right, and then um, it curves. There's a, a piece of land that curves around this way. I guess it's like Panama. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Comes up, and here is us up here. Depends on which way your globe is kind of facing. So. It could put something up at the very, very top. And it comes around here, and then it juts down. And there's a big bay in here. Ish. Kind of looks like, kind of looks like that. And the way over here is a little bit of Europe is showing. A little bit of that. And that's about all we got room for on our planet. All right, so you can take a little bit of black and put it in your dark green, and you're gonna get yourself a nice forest green color. We wanna have different colors in our, just sort of, you don't know where you're gonna do it. But while it's wet, it's all gonna kind of mix. Mm. Maybe right there is a little bit of dark, and right here. Up to you. It's, it's, it's from your drone. Your drone is going to capture this. Okay, that's too dark for me, so I'm going to take a little bit of yellow, and I'm going to put it in this mixture over here. Now I'm going to have a little bit of more of a limey green. So here's my third shade of green. I'm going to throw a little bit of that in there. It blends all in. I'm loving my planet. It's my planet. There's my planet. Okay. Um, so that kind of looks like a little bit of cloud cover looking over your planet. If you want to have more cloud cover, you just, right now, before we start to dry it, just take a little bit more white. And maybe you didn't like part of it. So it's, here, look at that. Covered up with clouds. Ta-da. All right. Um, so I think that this should be just a little messier over here. It's blue, but I don't want it to be so straight. So I'm going to just tap around with straight blue. And then I'm going to take some of that light blue. Oops, there's some green mixed in with it now. And I'm going to come up in here and just tap it around just so that it's not neat because I'm all about messy. There. Okay. I like it. Planet done. Dry it. Go on, dry it. If you wanted your, your moon, your sun to be just a little whiter right now, we're going to be drying anyway, so you might as well 
if you wanted it to be whiter, you can do it a little bit whiter now. It's all dry. You can see where it is. Swirl that a little bit. Even if it is just some swirls. It's just some swirls. It's not even a... They're just like little lines. I didn't even go solid on it. If you guys can see that. You can if I move my camera angle up. I move my camera angle up and I move this. See how it's just kind of, I just did a few lines in there. You got your sun, you got your planet. Okay, blow dry it, get it really dry because we're gonna be doing some black um, lines over this uh, to hang the basket so it'll be a hot air balloon. Okay, now I've got a credit card. I've got a business card. Just, uh, or you can just use a, like if you've got palette knives and stuff like that, you can use your your sharper end. But this will work just as well. Just use this bit here. We're we're going to uh, go into our black paint. Come up my lines to be straight. So I'm going to just dab my end into there. When it's going to go on, it's going to leave a nice, a nice sharp line like that. I'm open, or I can draw it down. So I want to have um, three lines coming down. So not very long though. There's one. Look at that nice sharp line. Then one coming in a little bit on an angle, starting right from the balloon, down to the same point. And this works fine with the credit card. I'll show you in a second. And same distance apart and same angle coming in. Didn't get right to the edge. You see that? It's not coming down from here because that's a whole different, a whole different line. So I'll show you guys using just a business card or a it's a this is a that's just a business card, not a credit card. Um, I want to have, okay, so I'm dipping the short end in, so I'm going to run it kind of through. Tap, 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 tap. Make sure that whole edge has some paint on it. You can test it there to see how that looks. So get it on there. I'm going to wipe the edges off just so that it's not too wide. Let's see what that does. Then, now I'm going to come from the edge and I'm going to come into where these ones are. So I'm going to go here, drag it down just a bit. There, see how that worked? It's exactly the same. Gives you a nice thin line. Try it again. And the reason why I wipe the edges off here is just so that only that edge there is done, not the sides, because if you push hard, you might... Um, get a thicker line. So I'm going to go with that over here. Also going in. Oops, I moved a little bit. That's okay. Okay, so now you can see where your lines are. So from there, what we need to do, 
Do I want this to be just a little bit longer? Maybe I'm going to lengthen these just a tad. So I'm going back with my palette knife. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit more. All my lines just a bit more. I want them to be a little bit longer. Now you can get these things from the dollar store, you guys. Um, don't spend a lot of money on metal ones. Unnecessary. These work fine. Uh, dollar store, it comes in a, a, I think there's eight. And so you've got long ones. You've got one shaped like this. Um, you've got some that bend down and along, some that are straight and long. Different uses for each of them. And we're going to discover those together. So these are all coming down to the same length. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take our little round brush, go into the black, roll it around a little bit so that you still got a pointy tip. And we're going to draw a like long uh, oval from all of these but not deep, just a squishy one. So maybe I'll start with these inside ones. So it kind of goes straight across, ovals in, comes back around to where that one is. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then our basket's gonna be down here lower. So it's going to be keep everything going in the same line. So my balloon's looking like it's going off to there because I'm painting from the side and that looks straight a minute ago. So I'm just going to keep going with the angle that I'm going. Draw it a little bit so it looks a little longer. I'm going to draw that. It's like a little slight smile and the basket will be narrower. So I'm going to do a smile at the bottom and I'm going to bring it in on an angle. Enough room for people to be in there though. All right, so now we're going to make this uh, uh, so it looks like it's a weaved basket. It's going to have one line through here. Got to give it some solid stuff at the floor so you don't fall through. And maybe a nice little rim at the top. And then it's going to be these sideways lines go like this. We're going to make it look like a basket and then go the opposite way. There, little basket. And you know, when they're um, going to the ground, they have to anchor it. So we are going to paint an anchor off the side. So it's going to come down and go past and it's going to come up this way. It's going to have a, like a little line on it, like an arrow. And then you don't see the rest of it. I don't know where it went. It's hiding back there. But that's your anchor. And we're going to paint some little white bags on there. So there's got to be these three lines are going to hook. Well, all these lines are going to hook into this basket. So do we want to do that again with the, let's do it again with our knife. <laughs> do it again with our knives or our cards, whatever we got. So that's going to hook into this basket. So now you know where that line's going to go. And this line's going to hook into this basket. I'm leaving that oval open for a second because I'm going to see what, what I'm supposed to do with it. And then our three lines are going to come narrow. It's a paint on there. Narrow in here, come down straight. And then that one's going to come in. Cool. Um, 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 um. Uh, I think there should be some like swoopy hanging ropes and stuff still. Here's the funny part. Take the edge of your palette knife or your brush and just um, go offset to these things. I gotta get some paint on here. Just a little off. You can use a little brush for these. Let's 
So see how they're not quite hooking up with those? Let's not make them hook up with those. Good enough. Good enough. All right, so a little brush again. Where are you? We're going to do some lines that swoop. So it looks like there's some ropes that hang. So put a little bit of paint on your brush. Roll it so it stays thin. Um, start from up here, bring it down, and loop it up just till it hits here. So it's going to come down. Oops, I didn't touch the canvas. And it's going to loop up nice and smooth. And then one from here. Uh, yeah, from here. Two long ones. And then we're going to have just a little short one that crosses over this and up. And then it crosses over this one again and up. So you got all these little ropes hanging around. We're going to paint... Um, Let's paint this like a little bit of gray. So back again, grab some white, take it over here. Oh, it's kind of bluish. A little bit of black in some white. And let's make our basket gray. You can make it brown if you want, up to you. Make it pink if you want, it's your basket. But let's change the color. So I'm going to do gray across the top here. Um, Maybe I'm going to do a dark gray every other one. Then, like a checkerboard. What do you think of that? I don't know why I'm doing that, but that looks kind of fun. So, kind of checkerboard ish. And then there'd be one here, there'd be one there, and this one. So it's a little bit checkerboardy. Um, you want to put another color in there. I mean, maybe this guy decorated his basket up really nice. Let's put green in there. It does look pretty cool. Um. <laughs> uh. to my gray, fill in those other ones a little better. Okay, so they do need some sandbags. Sandbags are definitely going to be white. I don't even have any people in the air balloon. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. They're social distancing. They just let this go. So the bag's going to droop down like that, just teardrops. You can dry this first if you want, because if you don't do thick paint, just let it sit on there thick. It's gonna turn green or gray, whatever colors you got. I'm gonna have some hanging off the edge, so it looks a little 3D-ish. Love it. If you're super talented, you can um, put some white highlights. Maybe you do it with my, I do it with my thingy. Uh, just throw some white lines over top of the black ones, just so it doesn't look so. Eh. Blah. I'll give it some color, some pop. But when you get to these, then you've got to give a little swirl. Maybe white across the top here. Well, I do kind of dig it. I love my planet. 
Never been on a hot air balloon before. I don't know if any of you guys have. Up, up and away. But there you have it. Big hot air balloon. Good birds up here with them. Flying away. If you want to have people, you're just going to put an illusion of somebody in there. <clears throat> I like it. Go ahead and sign it. And that's it for this week, people. And that is your hot air balloon. Flying off. World's all up in the air. So are we today okay thank you so thanks for coming out i know i look like a mess i got like zero sleep too much uh perfume in my new uh, laundry soap i couldn't sleep it was choking me so um that's it for this week don't know what i'm doing next week if you're catching this one another suggestion is helpful um share with your friends to join me on patreon i'm not getting rid of any of the videos that are in there for a while because a lot of you guys haven't caught up <laughs> on any of them and I don't want you to miss out on what you paid for but anybody who's coming in now at $45 a month to get it it's probably going to have close to 80 videos I think or not 40 anyways 40 or 50 but it, it's still climbing every week it climbs by three okay so thanks for joining me at home with empty canvas and we will talk to you next week from the community Bye. I say goodbye.